Mr. Chips is quite a whiz. He works with lightning speed to give me information and the answers that I need. He's got a super memory, but I'm what makes him tick. He's programmed so that he reacts when I feed him data. Those are facts. He sorts them out and answers back. You want to see how quick. Anything you can do with paper and pencil, I can do best now. Too badly, 
I beat you this time, Mr. Chips. You're really good at these video games, but I can beat you sometimes. Of course, Scooter, because I'm no smarter than the person who programs me. After all, I'm only hardware, just like nuts and bolts. Oh, yeah? You're the smartest bag of nuts and bolts I've ever seen. Listen, Scooter, some people assume that simply because a computer can gobble up all kinds of numbers and facts and figures and whatever data you happen to feed it. Some people assume because a computer knows how to remember instructions and data, whatever it's told and deliver it back whenever you need it, as quick as a wink. Some people assume a computer can think. You mean you're not really so smart, Mr. Chips? Right, Scooter. I'm not equipped to be smart. I'm not equipped to think. I'm equipped to use software and process information, not to understand it. What software? The instructions you decide to give me. How do you use software? I use software with my hardware. The terminal keyboard you touch when you want to say hi to me, that's hardware. My video screen when I want to reply to you, that's hardware too. And this complicated equipment crammed inside of me, too tiny for you to see, that's hardware too. Nothing but diodes, capacitors, and resistors, interconnections, and transistors jammed together like canned sardines. Thousands of teeny tiny machines printed on microscopic strips called chips. Chips? So that's why they call you. Precisely. Gee, Mr. Chips, you have a great brain. Brain? No, Scooter, I have no brain. Some people assume that simply because I can beat them at math and word games and chess and checkers, invaders and raiders all in the same afternoon. Some people assume because I can shoot off a rocket and chart it and pluck it, control it, command it and steer it and land it precisely there on the moon. It's hard to explain. But some people assume I have a brain. Okay, but if you don't have a brain, how can you do so many different things? Because of the different kinds of software people can feed me. Scientists or secretaries, astronauts or accountants, managers or musicians. As long as it's put in a language I can understand, I can store the directions in my chips. I assure you I haven't a brain and I haven't a heart. And my chips would feel no pain if you took me apart. And I'll never know good from bad or black from white. And I'll never know happy from sad or wrong from right. I'm nothing but diodes, capacitors, and resistors, interconnections, and transistors jammed together like canned sardines. Thousands of teeny tiny machines printed on microscopic strips called chips. And it's all hardware, just like nuts and bolts. You're sure a smooth talker, Mr. Chips. Maybe so, Scooter, but you're the brains of the operation. Scooter, a piece of cake. Just feed me the numbers and I'll process them for you. In other words, I punch them. Precisely, and I crunch them. I process numbers as quick as a flash for whatever results you need. I process numbers into measuring tools to measure sound and time and speed. I process numbers to find just how fast a rocket can get to Mars. I project the future and recall the past And I can show you a map of the stars wow. I process numbers 
it do curves and lines Display them on a graph or a chart I process numbers into colours and shapes To make a digital work of art A work of art Cause I'm a number cruncher A mathematical muncher I can round numbers off, I can square them I can line numbers up and compare them I can change them around, rearrange them around I can deal with them in any way you choose Another math professor I am a data processor I can mix numbers up and combine them I can take them apart and align them I can shake numbers up, I can break numbers up I can turn them into something you can use My baseball statistics A piece of cake But remember, first you have to punch them I know, then you can crunch them Cause you're a number cruncher Precisely